to the park where the ground said give me that combine and uh, she won't budge right now under her own power so we went and got the 4020 and the only place you can actually connect up on this combine to pull on is down there in that front axle so let me get some chains in there Try to go forward. Uh, Run it by me again. I'm missing something. If you want this part to come this way, then we got to go to the other side of the combine, to the other wheel, put that chain on, and then come out from under here. So when we come, we're coming out this way, not because when you pull me, I had no way of being able to stop you. See where the dirt was pushing? Yeah. You was pushing me that way. I got you. So we got to be centered. So the only way we ain't got nowhere to hook center. So the only other thing option is to go take the chain and go around to the other side and put it on that other axle come up through the middle of here and then hook it back to the tractor and then i'll try to follow you with the rear end if that makes sense to you The only thing I'm concerned about, that rail. It's going to push up on that rail. Really? Yeah. That, uh, we call it channel. And uh -huh. a little tiny piece of channel that the whole frame of that combine's on. Right. I'm going to give it easy. One gear and I go one gear and we need it out. Well, I want to see how bad things happen over there. Okay. So I want to tighten this up just yeah. to get it tight. When I see the combine just start to move, Look and see what that chain's really pressing up against under there.
come out from under the castle and be caught in the sand shroud, but it's, it looks like it's still intact. Back it up. Let it do right slow and easy. <laughs> you know, I think you've come right back out on the road with it now. That's what I'm trying to do is get back on the road. Then we'll figure out what we want to do. Well, that was an adventure. Yeah. Always is. My foot slipped off the clutch and yanked my combine. Huh? Hope I didn't hurt it. No, it's in good shape. I don't know what in the world happened. Yeah, but my shoes are wet. I thought you were having a steeping moment. I got it to pull me on the cub one time. And, you know, I said, let chain get tight, then pull me. <laughs> yeah, we win. <laughs> See if you can back it out and I back am. in the road. And that's why I'm glad I'm not alone. Yeah, that was kind of a jerk pull. Hope I didn't hurt anything on that. My foot's wet. I on tennis shoes. And it slipped on that clutch. You want to go see what we could do with that piece behind your house? That's the highest spot in the field right there. Yeah. That corner, that's the highest spot in the field. It slopes that way. It's just going to get wetter the further that way you go. And we already know that piece over there has got standing water in it. You want to, I mean, We'll try to snip on that a little bit and see what we come up with. That right there? Yeah. Go for it. Okay. Let me get the 40-20 out of the way. I might have to back all the way. Well, where? I, I turn around. No, I ain't back in there. Never mind. No. That was, <laughs> that, remember that day that Martha came out here on the car? I mean, you know, like, what, 30 years ago? Mm -hmm. She drove right down in that metal strip. Yeah. <laughs> that, yeah, that would have been her. Her and Jesse are two of a kind. That was funny. Yeah, go for it. Let's you know, see what we can do over here with Yankee and we'll go over there and play. We'll just dump this in your truck. Yeah, I'm, I'm I'm just, sorry, I wish it would do better than what it's doing. I guess what's happening is falling out. Well, when we walked on it this morning, yeah, the sun is, is hot on my back on this dark shirt. Yeah. And uh, it's pulling the water back up to the top. Is it going to freeze tonight? 
Yeah. Start at 9 o'clock in the morning. <laughs> Have it serviced and ready to go. I hate to work on Sunday, but really. We ain't run this combine long enough today to even worry about all that re-greasing stuff. Try to catch it while it froze. Yeah. You ain't getting, I mean, you might get what? Couple hundred out of it? Well, with what's in the hopper now, with what we had a while ago, we probably somewhere close to 35 bushels. And the price closed out Friday at 8.52. So you get 8.42? No, that, that'll be, oh, you're right. 8.32. The price, price closed out Friday on the car deal market at 9.52. He's taking a dollar this year. He must be having to add on to his house or something, you know. But uh, he's gonna give me eight fifty two. Storage. We're paying a dollar. We're bushing well, storage. I, I found out something. Cargill and Raleigh closed. In Raleigh? Yeah. The big one? Yeah. No shit. Yeah. I mean I didn't know that. I didn't either. Shocked me. So That's a big damn place. Yeah, they closed. The closest Cargill now is Fedball. So what he's doing is he's trucking beans from Bailey to Selma. Yeah. There's a train track going through Selma. He's putting them on the train car and sending them to Fedwell. Okay. So his cost went up. And I wouldn't even want to go talk to that guy on Green Pond Road. I don't have much to do with him after he got real hateful with me a long, long, long time ago. There's five or six viewers. No, wait a minute. It ain't that many. There's two viewers that have identified the guy, and I didn't even call him by name. There are locals around here that watch the channel. Yeah. And uh, they said, oh, yeah, I know him. And yeah. I didn't even call him by name. I don't want them to do it either. I ain't never going down there but again. But yeah, Cargill, 952, close on Friday. Um, so Monday morning, if I get down there, it'll be 852 in Bailey. So 35 bushels, three times 24. They rounded it off, we're looking at about uh, $260. That's why I mean you can't stay on the farm, damn it. They need to make it 2600 on acre, that way we can stay on the farm and it only costs a hundred dollars an acre to get in it. Yeah. <laughs> dream on, right? Yeah, I like to dream. I keep dreaming it. Yeah, I dream too. All right, I'm going to get the 4020 out of the way. and well, I'm going to go up on the hill and see what happens. You take a risk and go see what happens. Yeah, this was very fortunate that the 4020 didn't have to go digging a hole in soft ground. It was up here on the road. Hope I didn't break the combine. Go see if they'll still pick beans. Yeah, Bill. Don't worry about it. Uh-uh. <laughs> <laughs>